Today I'm going to talk to you about the pros and cons of moving to downtown Miami and I'm going to get started right now. Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Pretzi. I'm a real estate agent in Miami-Dade and Broward counties. And today I'm going to talk to you about the pros and cons of moving to downtown Miami. But first, before I get started, if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button so you never miss another update. We do put out videos every week. Also use the link in our information box and download our guides today. On that guide page, once you download it, I'll also add you to our weekly newsletter, which is an incredible newsletter that my husband puts out every week or two weeks, just depending on what's going on in the market, where he summarizes a lot of really good local, hyperlocal information that's important that you need to know about. Downtown Miami is one of the most popular neighborhoods that everyone asks me about when they're thinking about moving to Miami. But today I'm talking about the pros and the cons. So let's first start with the bad news and we'll give the cons first. The density of downtown Miami can feel a little bit tedious at times because there are only so many streets in and out throughout that part of the city. There is a lot of activity in that neighborhood and you will have a lot of people coming into the Port of Miami, a lot of people going there for major events. And so if you live there, the density of downtown Miami can feel very tedious sometimes because there are a lot of people. Imagine every single building has three to 400 units and then all of the people who are coming in for all the major events where all the things that are housed, for instance, the Performing Arts Center, the Frost Science Museum, the Perez Art Museum, the where the Miami Heat play, Bayfront Park. So there's a lot of activities that are around downtown Miami and the density of that area can feel very heavy at times. And because of that, again, the traffic. The traffic can be very tedious in downtown Miami just because of the nature of what is going on with all of the events throughout the year. Parking, parking can be very hard in downtown Miami and parking is limited. There are not a lot of places to park in downtown Miami, especially if you're buying real estate there. So if you have two cars, you have to be very, very careful about how you're going to park that second car. Many buildings, many units only come with one parking space and there are not going to be a lot of parking spaces where you can park your car around downtown Miami. And when that neighborhood fills up with events, forget it. So parking is very limited. Let's talk about the pros. One of the best things about downtown Miami is the buildings. The buildings in downtown Miami are super luxury. Over time, many of those buildings have been built in order to compete with another super luxury area of Miami Beach, which is known as South of Fifth. And the buildings in downtown Miami are incredible. The super luxury buildings. They have incredible views with incredible services and amenities and just whew, some of these buildings are just fabulous and the units inside of them are also fabulous. So downtown Miami has many beautiful buildings. Another great pro about downtown Miami is the proximity of downtown Miami to other parts of the city. Because its location is very central, it is a really nice area to live so you can get in and out to other parts of the area fairly quickly. Obviously, we are in a city where there is traffic, so you do have to time your, your trips and your events, but downtown Miami is a very central area for most of Miami-Dade County. Also in downtown Miami, if you're looking for entertainment and you like to have a lot of options, you will have a lot of options living in downtown Miami. There's a lot of entertainment around that part of the city. And if you want to get to the beach or Brickell or somewhere else, Wynwood or Midtown, you can be in any of those neighborhoods very quickly from downtown Miami. So downtown Miami is a great place to live if you are a very busy person and you want to get around and get access to entertainment very quickly. Sometimes when people are looking at properties in downtown Miami, they may also be looking at properties in Miami Beach. So I wanted to do just one neighborhood of Miami Beach, South of Fifth, that's also a very popular neighborhood, and do a quick comparison of pricing. So the average one bedroom property that sold in downtown Miami over the last 180 days sold for $505,000 with the average days on market of 37 days. And the highest one bedroom property that sold, sold for 5.2 million. In South of Fifth, the average one bedroom property that sold, sold for 540,000 dollars. 
with an average day on market of 65 days and the highest property that sold was 1.7 million. In downtown Miami, the average two bedroom that sold sold for $767,000, the average days on market 79 days, the highest property that sold sold for 1.7 million. The average property in South of Fifth, the two bedroom that sold sold for 1.9 million, average days on market 86 and the highest two bedroom property that sold sold for 7 million. The average three plus bedroom that sold in downtown Miami sold for 2.8 million, average days on market 150 days, and the highest that sold sold for 19.5 million. And the average three bedroom property that sold three plus bedroom property that sold in South of Fifth sold for $5.1 million with an average day on market of 99 days and the highest that sold was 14.5 million. Now, if I had broken these numbers down by buildings, especially in some of the super luxury buildings, the pricing would be much different. I just wanted to give you an overall idea of both neighborhoods and a little bit about what you can get for your money. If you're actually purchasing real estate in either of these neighborhoods, it's better to be super hyper local in terms of pricing. I hope this helped answer your questions about some pros and cons about downtown Miami and moving to Miami. My name is Jamie Pretzi. I work with my husband, Ogden Pretzi. You can find us online on Instagram at The Pretzies, and we will see you soon. <music>